Hello and welcome. I'm Jason Summer, an AI Solution Innovation Architect at Snowflake. Today, I'm going to walk you through the Snowflake Data Crawler, a utility that leverages secure Snowflake Cortex large language models to automate the cataloging and commenting of your Snowflake tables and views. If you're like me, you rarely update your Snowflake tables with comments. But at an enterprise level, such a habit can make it very difficult for teams to find relevant data sources. The data crawler seeks to solve this problem by generating natural language descriptions of data content, purpose, and relationships. The generated descriptions are stored in a catalog table and can be written to table objects directly, making user entered comments a thing of the past. Managed through a Streamlit and Snowflake app, team members can search, discover, and modify descriptions as they deem fit. Let's start the demo. To start, either download the repo or clone it locally. The next step will be registering and deploying everything in Snowflake. There are a number of ways to do this, but I recommend VS Code with the Snowflake extension or the Snow CLI. I'll go ahead and use VS Code here. Let's open the project repo in VS Code and go ahead and authenticate. Make sure you use a role that has access to create a database. First, navigate to the SQL directory. And in there, you'll see four SQL scripts. These hold the logic to register everything in Snowflake. We'll run them in order. First, run the setup script. This will create a database and schema and place the Python files in a stage in the Snowflake schema. Next, go to the catalog table script and run it. This will create a store procedure that can crawl a single table or view. Open the catalog script and execute that script. This will create the primary store procedure that crawls an entire database or schema. Lastly, open the app script. Now, before you run this, make sure the query warehouse parameter is set to a warehouse that you have access to. This will be the warehouse that underpins the Streamlit app. Run this script to create the Streamlit app in Snowflake. Now everything is deployed and ready to use in Snowflake. Let's navigate to SnowSite to see the data crawler Streamlit app. Open the data crawler Streamlit app. Here we have a manage page and a run page. In the manage page, we can search, review, and revise any table descriptions. Note that this search is a semantic search, so it's great to find data about certain areas of interest. As you see, the page is empty because we have not crawled anything yet. To initiate the crawler, let's navigate to the run tab. Here, we can specify any database or schema to actually crawl. For this demo, I've imported the well-known spider data set that consists of about 900 tables across several schemas. We'll go ahead and crawl that data set. We'll specify spider for the database. Sampling strategy can be fast or thorough. Fast will be a random sample of n rows from each table, while thorough or non-null will prioritize rows with the least amount of null or empty values. The non-null strategy will take considerably longer. By setting the update table comments to true, it will update the table objects themselves with the generated descriptions. Lastly, we can specify a number of Cortex large language models. This task is not very complicated, so a smaller LLM, such as Mistral 7B, is a great start for our current prompt. We can then run the crawler. 
the runtime will be based on the amount of tables to crawl, the warehouse size, and the warehouse scaling policies. For example, crawling this spider data set of 900 tables with an extra small warehouse with maximum concurrency took about 10 minutes. Now that the crawling has finished, we see some of the results and we can visit the manage page to search and revise them. Let's say we want to search for data about cars. We can see that the results are ordered based on semantic similarity. We can update some of the results. And submit to save. And now the results are saved to the data catalog in Snowflake. That concludes the demo for the data crawler. You have now successfully registered the data crawler and started crawling your enterprise data. I encourage using the crawler as a utility to better capture the breadth and depth of your enterprise data moving forward. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more Snowflake developer content.